Do you know seeing an opportunity in adversity is one of the hallmarks of a great venture capital firm? Don't believe me? Zoom and its VCs such as the Emergence Capital Partners and Sequoia Capital Partners are its classical examples as they turned this global pandemic into their advantage. Do you know Zoom came up with its IPO just two years ago in April 2019? And since then, the valuation has risen almost 10 times, you know, from 9 billion US dollars to 90 billion US dollars. Now, that's how VCs work. High risk, high reward. That is, you know, great intuition and great analysis. And that's the topic for the day to day. Venture capital, how it works, what are the processes involved and much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaidya from WallStreetMojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. So let's begin by understanding what is venture capital. To put it very simply, venture capital is nothing but the money or let's say the fund that the venture firm or capitalists provide to startups or private companies, which they think have a very high potential to grow. In fact, it's not that simple. VCs would want to have a share or the ownership stake in return. So it's actually a give and a take world, right? Nothing is charity. Okay, so why take venture capital funding and why not go to banks? I mean, who would be willing to provide part of their ownership in their company? Banks actually provide you with vast sums of money, but you will have to provide your company's balance sheet, income statement, show that you have a right credit history, profitability, and you have that repayment capacity. Unfortunately, as a startup, you may not have that, right? So banks consider it very risky to invest in new business ideas that have no stable cash flows, you know, no guarantee of success altogether. And this is where venture capitalists actually make a heroic entry and will save your day. You know, you can actually say that venture capitalists will start where the banks end. So you must be thinking, where do these VC firms, you know, actually raise money from? VC firms raise money from someone called as limited partners or the LPs. Limited partners are basically the clients who invest in VC firms and they are very large institutions. You know, think of pension funds, uh, mutual funds, it could be insurance companies, family offices, endowment funds and so on. You know. So on one side, we have the limited partners who invest in, in the VC firms. On the other side, there's someone called as general partners, you know, who are the investment managers of the VC firm. Their responsibility is to run day-to-day -day operations of the business and decide which company to invest into. The general partners contribute 1-2% to of the overall fund size and the remaining actually comes from the LPs or the limited partners. So let's say if there is a fund of $500 million, 5 to $10 million will be contributed by the GPs or the general partners, while the remaining will come from the LPs or the limited partners. The limited partners usually invest in these kind of funds with the expectation of awesome returns. And because, you know, usually these funds are, are locked in for a certain period. Think of five to seven years, you know, that's the usual lock-in period. For that, they sign different types of agreements like the limited partnership agreement and the private placement memorandum. So these are nothing but, you know, think of these as a legal document with terms and conditions regarding the kind of profit share that they may have. The GPs, after collecting the desired funds, you know, their job actually starts and that's where they start investing in the private companies with excellent potential to grow. They go through the portfolio companies and they start investing. Now, let's look at some of the most important factors that VCs keep in mind before investing. I mean, can it be just based on only intuition? Of course not. Typically, there are three most important aspects that VCs consider before investing their money with the startups. The first one is the market size that the product would offer. The second is actually the product market fit. So after all, you know, people would actually buy whatever they need or want, right? 
And the third one, which is, I think, you know, the most important one is that the VC should have confidence with the founders and his team. The new companies get VC investments at various stages of the business cycle. And it depends on revenue, profitability and growth rates. So these are actually called as funding stages. So let's let's discuss, you know, funding stages as such. The first stage of funding is provided at the seed stage. This is where the company is just an idea. A classic example of seed stage funding would be think of Steve Jobs and uh, Steve Wozniak. You know, they started Apple at their garage, right? That stage, seed stage. Next comes Series A funding, when the company has started to generate good revenues, but of course, you know, may not necessarily uh, profits and has started to get some serious customer base. The next level comes where, you know, the company sees an opportunity to expand internationally, maybe acquire competitors or prepare to go for public or the IPO, right? So this is where the subsequent funding, something like Series B, Series C, D, E, F, you know, these come into picture. The later stages of funding usually are pretty safe because at this stage, the company has reached its potential. You know, they have established themselves in the market and they are kind of looking at exit by going through an IPO or maybe mergers and acquisitions. But to be honest, most of the companies actually not reach this last stage and they go bankrupt, you know, by the time, you know, they, they reach this series A stage. And that's a very highly competitive industry out there. The VCs usually invest in companies with three to five year of uh, time horizon. And how do they make profit? They make profit by selling their stake to some other investor. Or let's say when the company goes uh, through a merger or an acquisition or an IPO. This phase is actually called as an exit route. Overall, the venture capital partners actually make around 2% of the fund size as management fees. And then they get another 20% as a profit share over and above something called as a hurdle rate. What is hurdle rate? A hurdle rate is actually a minimum return that the VC firm has committed to the LPs. The remaining profit ultimately is distributed to the LPs or the limited partners on a pro rata basis as per the money that they have invested. This is how actually the venture capital fund works. They invest in business, they make it grow and reap the benefits along with the company. Okay guys, now moving on to the final part of this video. Let's look at the top three VC firms that I like. The first on my list is the Bessemer Venture Partners or the BVP. This is a $5 billion company that was founded in 1911 and since then it has been known to fund the early stages of well-known companies such as Pinterest, Skype and Twitch. It has also created you know, successful IPO exits you know, from LinkedIn and Shopify. The second VC that I am fond of is Anderson Horowitz. It was started in 2009 by Mark Anderson and Ben Horowitz and some of their investments actually include Facebook. Airbnb, Box, Lyft, Robinhood, amazing, right? The third on my list is Sequoia Capital. Sequoia was founded in 1972 and is actually based out of California. And these guys have been making some amazing IPO exits. Some of their popular investments include again, the Airbnb, DoorDash, Snowflakes, Unity, Zoom, etc. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future video, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, we come up with very interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.